And when I talked to her uh, this morning, her word was poppycock. That's poppycock. Fran joins us. Good morning, Fran. How are you? Good morning, Poppy. Thanks for having me on the show. Poppycock? <laughs> you poppycock. Uh, we tried to make this a smooth transition from the very beginning. We wish Mr. Morrissey uh, all the luck in the world. We want him to succeed because West Virginians will lose if he doesn't succeed. The day after the election, I met with people that he asked to contact me. I informed them who the major players were in the Attorney General's office, all the responsibilities they would have. I explained the budget process. I made a list available to them of the employees, what their positions were. I had staff from the Attorney General make themselves available to meet and contact with Mr. Morrissey's transition team. I prepared a budget for Mr. Morrissey. I left him with enough money in the budget to run the office for three years. Uh, we instructed every lawyer to prepare a memo to the file on every case, what the status of the case was, uh, who the parties were in the case, and every case that I was personally involved with, which were the major consumer cases. We did an extensive memo to the file, and every outside attorney that was working with the Attorney General's office has reached out and contacted Mr. Morrissey. Fran, there was, I was told that there was, in fact, no comprehensive list of the cases that were ongoing, and, in fact, that there were cases that were filed just within the last week before, uh, before McGraw left office that there was no information on or that the, that, the, that the new attorney general had no idea even who the outside attorney was on some of those cases. Well, that's simply not accurate. Um, we did ha file a case uh, a week or so before we left office. That's a case involving Lipitor. It's a major antitrust case that is in multi-district court. It has multi-district litigation in New York. That appointment had been made. Uh, prior to the election, and I believe that we still had a duty to carry out the functions of the Consumer Protection Division and the Antitrust Division until we left office. Fran Hughes is uh, with uh, Fran Hughes is with his former Deputy Attorney General. Fran, wouldn't it have been? Uh, helpful if, and I look, I understand elections, I understand there's always some hard feelings, it's never easy. Wouldn't it have been helpful if you, because you're running the office for the most part, mm -hmm. if you sat down with Marcy and said, look, come on in, sit down, spend some time in here, let me give you some office space, and you and I, every day, I'll go over this stuff with you so you know where, know where everything is. I mean, couldn't you have done that? Well, one, he was left with the list of every single uh, case in the office the annual report and the governor's report. Uh, any document that he requested, he was provided. I did meet with his staff the day after the election, and I never received uh, a call from him personally ever. And uh, had he called me, I would have met with him. Um, he did have one other person contact me, and it was about setting up interviews with people that are currently employed in the office, and I did that. Um, I think it's time for Mr. Morrissey to focus his attention on building his agenda and not looking backwards and criticizing uh, the former attorney general. Hey, Fran, um, the also, I was, and this is something that has has uh, nothing to do with any potential conflict between McGraw's office and, and, uh, and Morrissey, is that uh, I'm also told that the computer system in the AG's office is woefully antiquated. Uh, 
and and that there's no it's just a, just an old system and it's it's not very efficient. Well, we were able to make it work, and we were able to make it work to the extent we were able to build up a nationally recognized office. We didn't have things fall through the cracks. Is it the system that uh, we most desired? Would we have liked to have a better system? Of course. And every year for the past three or four years, we submitted an improvement package to the legislature. But, of course, you know that we, like all agencies in state government, are experiencing budget cuts, and we weren't given the money. It's very expensive, and so we had to make do with what we have. I wish Mr. Morrissey luck. I hope he is able to obtain his improvement package to make the changes that he wants. Um, but there's a lot more work to do day to day than building a uh, super computer system. Fran Hughes is with his former Deputy Attorney General. Fran, I also uh, was told that when Dawn Warfield left the office, and she was a significant player in, in the office there while you were there, that she was in charge of the contracts that were coming through the door. And when she left, and I think it was just after the election, that nobody handled contracts after that, and when Morrissey's people came in, that literally contracts were sort of piled up collecting dust. Did nobody review uh, contracts, which I think your office do, did that's a lot? Not, that's not accurate. Dawn Warfield did not leave after the election. She left two weeks before um, Mr. Morrissey, Attorney General Morrissey, assumed office. Two weeks before. Um, and there may have been a few contracts that came in, but um, those are things that Mr. Morrissey should have had his uh, attention focused on, that that is a major responsibility of the Attorney General's office and should have been able to hit the ground running, had a person that knew the requirements under state law, for what a state contract has to do. And Ms. Warfield had years of experience. She could get those contracts out, turn them around in a day. I know it's going to take Mr. Morrissey some time, but those are things that you contemplate. And you read the statute that spells out the duties and responsibilities of the Attorney General's office and that's something you have to be prepared to do the first day you assume office is govern. Fran, did, Fran, did, did the Morrissey people, after the election, did the Morrissey transition team, anybody there, request office space in the AG's office where they could come in and start with transition, and was that request denied? Uh, I don't really know because I don't know everybody that they spoke to. Um, I, I don't remember having that conversation with anybody, and I don't know that Attorney General McGraw uh, would have uh, agreed with that proposition. Um, I don't think that that's necessary, that they be physically located in the office be able to read the code and to familiarize themselves with the duties and responsibilities of the office. I've been hearing one of their primary goals, what, number one, was to set up an office of federalism uh, to bring suits against the EPA and the federal government on Obama health care. Unfortunately, they don't have that ability and they're not going to be able to expend state funds on uh, pursuing a policy that they don't have authority to do. Hey, at, the, at, the, at, at, at the risk of being glib, and, I, and, and I'll be candid here, you know, I've stirred some of this up, but I think it's a real story. I mean, I think it exists, and there's two different opinions about this. At, sure. the, at, at the risk of being glib, why, don't, why doesn't Morrissey call you today, or you call Morrissey and say, 
you got any questions? Uh, and he'll say, yeah, where's that Johnson file? And he'll go, well, I'll tell you what's up with that Johnson. And, and uh, matter of fact, I'll come down there and spend an hour with you this afternoon. I mean, is that too, is that reasonable? Well, um... I know you're not on the payroll anymore. He, I'm just saying... I, I did that with him, and I believe we have provided him with an updated uh, list of all the cases. There are memos to all the files. He has the ability to call every deputy head of every division and meet with them personally and talk to him about every case. That's available to him today. Um, I, um, I believe that we want him to succeed. We've done what we need to do, and he has to focus his attention away from uh, pursuing policies that he has no authority to. Number two, he talked about uh, pursuing prosecutions. He has no authority to do that. I think now, though, I don't hear that they're doing anything. I hear they're just trying to get the... What, what I am told is they're just trying to get the office running. But nevertheless... Well, I know that he uh, was pursuing, looking for, quote, trinkets from the Attorney General's office so that he could have a press conference and that it was going to be quite a show. Um, well, I don't believe that that materialized. Um, and a lot of times, I believe we experienced it when we assumed office. There's a bit of confusion as you get your feet wet and you're trying to set up and pursue your own agenda, your own philosophy. And, and, and there's always difficulty, and uh, there's bumps in the road, and he's going to experience that. Fran Hughes, but go ahead, go he ahead. He doesn't need to reinvent the wheel. That is an institution that is far bigger than Patrick Morrissey, uh, Daryl McGraw, or Fran Hughes.